I'm on a beach here in Aruba, a very small beach, and I'm gonna kind of comb the area just to see what we can see. I uh, don't get a lot of time uh, to go to the beach, and there aren't a ton of beaches out here accessible by me right now. This is one that I have quick access to, and we're just checking out for an hour or so. I got my Equinox 800. I've got the scoop all F pulse on my leg here. I've got a net dump pouch and a digging tool. So let's see what we can find out in this beautiful area for the next hour. I've got my settings on beach two. I forget why beach two. It's been a while since I've used my detector here, so I think two is for a trashier area. I've got my ground balance at seven. I volume all the way up because I don't have my headphones. Threshold at zero. I got a five tone target. Minus nine on the reject. My recovery speed is very quick. Maybe I'll go back down to a seven on that one. I've done an automatic noise cancel right on the sand here at an eight. My ground balance came out to a seven. Uh, it's going up. I'm gonna check my all metal. Make sure there's nothing around here. And there is something there, so that had an effect. So let's try my ground balance again. Right here on a empty spot. I... Okay, well, 23. So let's, let's check it out. There was something right here. I've already found a bottle cap and a pull tab and found something that was pretty heavy. It might be a fishing weight or a piece of metal bent over. Give a really high return. I forgot the number of it. It's probably lead. Whoops. That's how easily things get lost. I'm just gonna throw that away later. All right, I'm gonna start again. Start semi-methodically on the edges here. There's a 18 at about nine inches. I don't think I can really dig right here because of the rock. Maybe I'll get my F-pulse out here. It's detecting my detector. Okay, it's gotta be right there. Should get a GoPro on my head. Ah, another fishing weight, even with its own line. First couple are misses, obviously. But don't let that discourage you because it's like a thousand to one. And even your one is probably gonna be clad. Let's continue. I'll just kind of show you what I get next. How about that? Beautiful. All right, look what I found. Can you see it in there? It's a pull tab. Oh, beautiful. Balashi. Cleaning up the beach, one balashi at a time. That hole right there, I dug out, and I couldn't quite find what it was. And I'm just, I just put my finger right through it. I'm searching for it. And it looks like, I'm very excited about this. I'll turn off my F pulse so it doesn't go crazy. But let's get a look at this baby. This is cool. Nice, it's pretty. It's got a wood inlay. And it's got, it's got a number in it. TI 9.5. It's got some islands on it. Is that Hawaii? Is that the Hawaiian Islands? That is pretty. I'm excited. I have got some rings before, but they've all been kind of gnarled and destroyed and, and uh, just costume jewelry. But what is TI 9.5? Is that a size or is that is that sort of a, is it titanium? It's pretty light. I'm excited. That's cool. If it had somebody's name on it, I'd go up and down the beach looking for a name. Hey, are you missing something? It's kind of like dropping cash. You don't just pick up cash and say, hey, are you missing some cash? Oh no, I'm not missing cash. I didn't lose cash. No, not everybody's gonna be honest, but I'm excited. Cool. Let's keep going. Just found some sort of uh, piece of folded metal. Looks like lead again, just out there.
I'm getting a lot of hits around the uh, ocean side of the these rocks. I found this interesting thing. I don't know what that is. At first I thought, is that a bullet? Then it looks like there's threads on one side. Seems like there's a little piece of glass in there on the front. Anybody know what that is? Leave a comment what you think that might be. Hey again, days later, I'm here at Eagle Beach. Once again, just farther down, we're going to be using the Wise noise canceling headphones. These are $50, $50 or $60 uh, through Wise, and they're awesome. It's great for flying, and the noise canceling from all the cars is gonna be great. I've just got them hooked up. I could probably go wireless, actually, on this, but I have a wire. I just don't wanna take the time to try to figure out the Bluetooth. Let's see what we can find out there. All right, had to stop at a little banana thing. Got a whole bunch of bubble caps. Of course, that's to be expected. If you're metal detecting and not expecting to find junk, then you're in the wrong hobby. But I did find one little five cent thing. So, uh, it's just little stuff. Because I couldn't hold on to it. That's how easily you lose stuff. And look down at the ground. You drop it and it's gone. It just envelops it. So that's exactly what happens. There's no trace of it. And it's probably somewhere along here and people go searching and they never find it. It takes one of these. Let's see if I can find it. You can use your hands all you like, just like I was just trying and you'll never find it. Never find it. I just got the signal right here. It's right there. What's this? And I just found it by my eye. That is an old coin from 2014. Quite worn down. Okay, let's keep looking. Well, I don't need a metal detector to see all the little bottle caps right here that someone very much discarded, making the world a trashier place. Thanks a lot. I'll go ahead and clean that up for you. Look at these gold-colored items. This is the one I found earlier. Here's a peso, 200 pesos. I found this gold-colored link. I found this thing that is costume jewelry. Top pocket finds, so to speak. Let's keep going. Do I look cool with my headphones? Ah, super Bach. You know, I'm just realizing as I'm kind of strolling around, it's kind of nice. I can still be metal detecting and kind of just enjoy this time because this is really the only time in almost a month out here in Aruba since I've been working here on the island that I've been able to kind of just have my own time and uh, I'm enjoying it. out there it goes to show we dig everything almost right I got a nine which is usually in the foil or a you know junk category but what about that that's no foil found it out in the water right you know actually I'll show you see where that little crater is kind of right at the shoreline so that's where I found it it looks uh, it's kind of light. It almost could be stainless steel, but kind of has almost like a diamond flake pattern. On the inside, I'm not seeing any markings or engravings as of yet, but it's really bright out here, so it's hard to tell exactly what I'm seeing. Quite a nice looking ring. Oh, in the, in the sunlight, I'm seeing sparkle. That looks like diamond. 
Yeah, I am definitely seeing sparkle on here. So that, that has got to be just very fine diamond flaking. That's a top pocket find and I'm very happy about that. Everything now is downhill from there. So let's see what else we can find. Let's go. All right, detectorists. This is a public service announcement for you today. If you dig something and it happens to be trash and you see it, you got to pick it up. Leave the place better than you found it. Don't just leave it. It's our duty as detectorists to take this and go throw it away. Since we found it, we touched it with our shovel or with our toe or with whatever. Pick it up, put it in your bag and throw it all away. I know a lot of you do that already, but you know, those just beginning. If you find trash, pick it up, don't just leave it. And we just want to leave the place better than we found it. My ride is en route, so I have to make my way out to the road, give him my coordinates. I just wanted to dip my feet into this aqua blue amazing Reuben water for the last time. I've been out here for almost a month working. You can see some of my other videos. I do video and film production on this channel and I do a vlog, so feel free to subscribe. It's free, it's easy, and we'll see you later. Well, I'm back in Utah and it's hailing and I gathered a ball of hail from my backyard. Look at that. A little different from Aruba. Well, it's not quite a sunny Aruban day, but I wanted to cap off this video with a little something. And uh, what better way than a little Hell made snowman. Look at this. I'm going to be doing more metal detecting videos on this channel. I don't have quite have a beach here in Utah, but I do have some sand I want to detect. I'm going to try some beach metal detecting techniques out here using a book that I just bought. And that book is Beginner's Guide to Beach Hunting. And this is a book by Gary Drayton that I have learned a lot. I've been taking note, as you can see, about all of the experiences he's had and all the finds, the amazing finds he's had on beaches. And I've been learning about beaches and I've been learning about tides and sand and what it does and what people do on the beach. And uh, it's been very enlightening. You may know Gary Drayton from a TV show on History Channel called The Curse of Oak Island, of course. Now he calls it TV show. I mean, you know, he doesn't quite say what the TV show is in this book, but I have been watching it since season one and it's frustrating and also entertaining. He's the one that has the majority of the finds on the show and makes the show quite exciting to see all of the finds that he finds. But he's been on The Curse of Oak Island, and that one's still going, still watching that one strong. The Curse of Oak Island drilling down beyond Oak Island, where he actually came out to Utah. And a friend of mine actually got to meet him, and he sent me a little message. Hi, Paul. Gerald says that you're a top pocket find, a real Bobby Dazzler, mate. I'm just saying hello. Cheers. I just think that was really cool. I thought it was amazing and uh, that's my claim to metal detecting fame. He has given me great ideas on gear, so many different things. I'm not quite finished with it, but I know that I'm gonna be better off going to the beach after I read this. And because I'm a beginner, especially with beach hunting, I've been doing some metal detecting on and off for a number of years, 10 years or so, but beach hunting is definitely a new thing for me. Anyway, onto the finds here. Let's take a look. I was a little embarrassed pulling out so much, but goes to show that I like to dig everything. I've assorted them from least corroded to very corroded. Look at that. People like their balashi out in Aruba, I guess, and they will go nicely to my finds along with the little pull tabs that have a very distinct signal. I think a lot of you know, especially with the 800 and the fast recovery speed of the Equinox, where it goes doo -doo -doo -doo, right over the little holes there. Foil, clothespin, cap, some kind of bottle. Got a very corroded American stinking Lincoln. A little zinky. Wait a second. Wait a second. What is that? That is not a Lincoln. What? I didn't even look at this. Oh my gosh. 
This is some other kind of coin. I don't know what kind of coin this is. Wow. I had no idea what coin this was. That does not look like Lincoln. You know, it's funny. In this book, <laughs> Gary says, keep all of your finds because you never know what you have. Especially with stuff like this. I like I, I don't know what this is. I mean, but it, it's some kind of lead, but you never know. I, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see what this coin is. This is very interesting to me now. Does anyone know what kind of coin that is? It's got so much sand encrusted on it. I wonder if I could get that off. Oh, that is like so on there. I'm afraid to like damage that. I thought it was a zinc Lincoln penny, American penny, but it looks to be a little bit better condition. It's probably a newer coin, but wow, that's pretty interesting to me now. Give me a comment down below if you can see if that gives you any clue what it could possibly be. Okay, well, this is American. That is like a 2015, 2015 dime, normal dime. This is a florin. This is five florin and it looked, when I was pulling this thing out, the rim looked amazing. I was freaking out over this and then I thought, oh, it's a 2014 five florin. It looks really cool. For a minute there, I was like, that looks like a Templar cross, <laughs> but it's a shield of some sort. Uh, also found this from Colombia. This is a Colombian 200 pesos. Republic de Colombia, 200 pesos, 2014. Pretty cool. And the fisherman's lead weight here, of course, with the string attached. That's a bonus, that's extra. I got some encrusted, what appears to be like folded lead. Looks like a stainless steel bolt, no corrosion there. Very loud target. Little tarp, uh, grommets. And this thing, I never figured out quite what it was. It looks like there was a lens in there. It almost looks like glass. I didn't quite figure out what the heck that is. But light does come through there, and there's threads on the back. Very crusty innards. Tell me what you guys think that is down in the comment, because I can't figure it out. And we had some costume jewelry. This almost feels like aluminum, very lightweight, tinny feel but it sure was exciting to pull out some gold in the sand and be fooled for a minute. This looks like some kind of hinged, maybe a, an earring that uh, clipped on one side, possibly very lightweight. Uh, I found a, a 10 cent florin. I don't know if they call all their money florin, but that was a Reuben money, 2019. While we're on the subject, I just want to show some of this money I just had in my pocket. I thought it was interesting. 2013, five florin. So it's a little different than that other one that was a 2015. Beatrix. I'm not going to try to pronounce the other part. There's a 2013. So there's there's one that's very similar, but it's, oh, I see. One and five, one and five florin. One florin, five florin. But the other side has the same graphics. One's slightly bigger than the other. And look at this. 50 cent florin is really cool. Square one. I thought that was cool. All right, for the major finds, two rings, and I was very excited and pretty much kind of like, okay, that's the find, and now I'm done. It's all downhill from there. It's really interesting to see this up close now. I wish I could tell what kind of uh, metal that is. I'll have to ask a friend of mine that uh, knows a jeweler and see what they have to say about this. I don't really have any information on this one other than it's really pretty in the sun. It really sparkles and it's definitely bigger than my finger. This is the first one I found and it has the Hawaiian Islands. I, I think that I'm going to assume that's Hawaii in there kind of etched and it has this wood inlay. It's a darker metal. And I feel like it just might be titanium because it has that TI 9.5 in there. Isn't the peri periodic table for titanium TI? It's extra light. It's, it's a little lighter than that one. Anyway, well, there's my finds. Not amazing, but I find that, you know, two rings kind of make it worthwhile. And I was excited about it. Well, thanks again for coming by and watching. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to have more metal detecting uh, videos because they are just too fun to make, especially here in Utah where there is some good history. Uh, it might not be quite as fun as beach hunting, but I yet, have yet to discover that. I've been metal detecting for a number of years, but you know, it's something that I'm always trying to get out and do more of as a hobby. I have many hobbies, as you can tell. I just enjoy the heck out of it. I'm going to put Gary Drayton's book to use out here somehow in some sand. It may not work the same, but I'm hoping that it 
it does. I'll let you know what that is when the time comes. So hit like on this video if you've liked it. Subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. You know, I have other videos on this channel for film and video production because I work on movies. I work on commercials and, and things like that. I have a lot of fun there and I go on trips and I just have a, it's basically my journal here on this channel. Thanks for checking out my finds and we'll hope to see you on the next one.